Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer, proud partner of Carolina Athletics. Coca-Cola, there's magic when we cheer together. And by Hardison and Cochran, dial 919 all fours for a free legal consultation. Hello again, happy Thanksgiving, and welcome to the Carolina Insider. My name is Jones Angel, excited to be with you for the next 30 minutes. Gosh, wish we had better news to talk about on the show today, but it has been a tough few days for the Tar Heels. First on the football side of things, Carolina finishes the regular season with back-to-back -back home losses by a total of just seven points. The latest comes in double overtime against NC State, 30-27, Tar Heels miss a kick from 35 yards out to try and send it to triple overtime, end up falling to state for the second consecutive year. We'll show some highlights from that, plus hear from Mac Brown afterwards. Tar Heel basketball has been at the PKI event in Portland. Beat a solid Portland team in the first round, but then fumbled away a seven point lead in the final four minutes in the winner's bracket matchup with Iowa State. So we'll see footage of the win over the Pilots and then the loss to the Cyclones as well. Plus, here's some from Hubert Davis too. All right, Olympic sports will get you covered up there too. Field hockey wins its 10th national title with a 2-1 win over Northwestern in the championship match. Carolina now with those 10 titles more than anybody else in the history of the sport. And women's basketball also out in Portland had a really high quality win against Oregon in its first game, 85-79. So a lot to do. We'll start with the first half in Keenan Stadium, the 112th meeting between Carolina and State. Two by Downs and one by Jones. That Tariels had their hands on it. They would have been tough catches, but couldn't hold on to it. Hand off Green, big hole up the middle. Green crosses the 20, has the first down. Tar Heels in the red zone now with 636 and counting. This will be 36 yarder off the right hash. The kick is up from Noah Burnett and good. So the Heels do get three points out of it. First and 10 from the 50. May quickly near side. Antoine Green makes the catch, spins up field. He'll have the first down. Pushed out of bounds by Aiden White after a gain of 12. Tar Heels down 14 3. Trying to find the end zone for the first time since the second quarter against Georgia Tech. Green, a big hole right side. Makes a man miss in the secondary. He's at the 30 and pushed out of bounds at the 26, maybe the 27. It'll be a first down for the Tar Heels. So second and 10 on the state 27. Heels going from left to right. Ball on the near hash. May finds Green at the 20. Green at the 15. Green steps through a tackle. Spun out of bounds at the 10. Good job also protecting the football. Yep. Several state players were swiping at it. Carolina coaches were impressed with him. Carolina runs again. Elijah Green left side. Elijah Green cuts up and cuts in for six. Carolina hits pay dirt. Green from nine yards away. Makes it 14 to nine. Extra point on the way. State has Chambers in there, the other quarterback, and he fumbles the football. He's hit and loses it, and the Tar Heels have it. Cedric Gray comes up with the loose ball. The Tar Heels get the first turnover of the game. Yeah, and great timing right there by the Carolina defense needing to play to get off the field, and they do better than that. And a half that if you're the two teams, you got to feel better if you're State than if you're Carolina as the pack have the better of things in the first half. They'll have a seven point lead at the break. I'm not gonna believe this girl. Oh, Dad! Dad, have you seen this? I did it. Wells Fargo helps thousands of students go to college. He got in. By funding $107 million in scholarships and programming for diverse communities. Don't worry, I'll be back. When a bank does what it says, I know you can do it. Opportunity happens. Doing gets it done. Wells Fargo, the bank of doing. I need to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. 
and your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison & Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 All Fours. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. I need to try it first. Yeah. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright. So, this Black Friday, choose a vehicle in stock or simply place a custom order. Lock in your rate and you're protected, even if rates go up before your order comes in. Plus, thousands of vehicles are arriving daily, just in time for the holidays. This Black Friday, lock in this low rate on a new 2022 Ford F-150. Hurry, choose from over 7,000 Ford trucks and SUVs, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Welcome back to the show. Before the break, saw first half footage from Carolina and NC State, and despite how poorly you felt like Carolina played, the Tar Heels were only down seven at the break, and it was a dramatic second half filled with turnovers, missed kicks, key moments. Carolina ties it with no time left on the clock but eventually falls in double overtime. Let's see some of the footage from half number two, the overtime periods, and hear from Mac Brown as well. So, State ready to snap, and they do on the punt. Carolina will set up the return. It's a short kick from Nooncaster. Tarles just need to make sure they get out of the way as it's taking a Tar Heel roll, getting closer and closer. It is down inside the 35. State bringing pressure on first down. May quickly out of his hands. Great catch by J.J. Jones. Breaks away. Jones 25 and dragged down from behind. Roughly at the 20-yard line. J.J. Jones had some drop issues in the first half. He made a terrific catch and run there. They're at the State 14. Need to get to the 10 for the first down. May's going to throw. Everybody coming. May steps out of the pocket going left side. May 10-5. Touchdown, Carolina. Tar Heels within a point. It's been a struggle all day for May, but he gets out of trouble and scampers in for six. May to throw, goes over the middle, open Nesbitt, made the catch at the 40, backed his way to the 44. Quick gain of 19 on the first down throw. Clock not a huge factor here, except for the fact that the heels are trailing. May dumps it off right side, Green crosses the 50 and gets near the state 40-yard line. Second down, May. Design quarterback run at the 25. Now the 20 has the first down. Falls forward to the 18. Fourth and five. Here we go. May steps up in the pocket. Still holding the football. May throws it back across his body. Caught first down. Nesbitt at the four. Downs one-on-one -on -one left side, although now state moving a safety over there. May. Going to throw in the pocket, in zone. Touchdown, Carolina! Antoine Green this time for six. No questions on this one. Snap back, spot down, kick is up. It's through there. We're going to extra time. Snap back, spot down. Burnett's kick is up and through. So the Tar Heels do get points. And for the first time today, Carolina leads. 27-24, and the Tar Heels are going to lose in double overtime on a missed field goal. Love the way our kids played. They fought their guts out. We didn't play great the first half against NC State, but they're really good on defense. Uh, maybe the best defense we've played this year. Um, and our guys kept fighting. Our coaches kept working to try to find things to do. And, and really, 
Um, we, we were shorthanded in the secondary and kept fighting our guts out. Tony Grimes had a lower body injury that he, he said he couldn't play before the game. Um, that we didn't know it till right before the game. Uh, then legend Cavazos comes in and plays, and then Storm Duck uh, has to miss the fourth quarter, and um, Cam Kelly pulls a hamstring while he's covering a guy on a deep ball. So Storm falls down on one long touchdown, and Cam Kelly pulls a hamstring covering the other guy. So, um, and, and then it really came down to they, they made they missed one field goal, and we missed two, and, and that's what the game came down to. Um, I thought about going for the fourth and three at the end, uh, but we're playing really good on defense. They were going to have to go back out there first, so I, I felt like that we were uh, in a good position to, to go ahead and kick it and keep it tied and keep playing because I thought that uh, we were a little more fresh than they were because we had the ball so much in the fourth quarter. We, we've come down to a player two in every game, so we made them in all the others except Notre Dame. They whipped us good, and then every other game's come down to the last play, and we made the plays before them. We hadn't made the plays the last two weeks. So they're still the champions of the Coastal for the second time in school history. So I'm not going to sit around and feel bad. I'm not going to feel embarrassed for nine wins. I'll give two teams credit that beat us at home at the end, which I, I'm disappointed in. They're disappointed in. But when your team plays as hard as they can play, that's all you can ask them to do. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright. So this Black Friday, choose a vehicle in stock or simply place a custom order. Lock in your rate and you're protected, even if rates go up before your order comes in. Plus, thousands of vehicles are arriving daily, just in time for the holidays. This Black Friday, lock in this low rate on a new 2022 Ford F-150. Hurry, choose from over 7,000 Ford trucks and SUVs, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. We come from different places to experience a piece of history and leave our own mark on the storied fairways of number two. I'm not gonna believe this girl. Wells Fargo helps thousands of students go to college. He got in. By funding $107 million in scholarships and programming for diverse communities. Don't worry, I'll be back. When a bank does what it says, I knew you could do it. Opportunity happens. Doing gets it done. Wells Fargo, the bank of doing. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. I need to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. I need to try it first. Yeah. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Welcome back to the show. Thanks so much for being here on the Carolina Insider. Hope you've had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday so far. Tar Heels in Portland for men's and women's basketball this week as part of the Phil Knight events. There are two brackets for the men, the Phil Knight Invitational, the Phil Knight Legacy, the Tar Heels in the Invitational bracket, the PKI defeated Portland in the first round. Lost a seven point lead with four minutes to go, though, in round two against Iowa State. The Tar Heels now play in the loser's bracket or the consolation game Sunday at 3.30. Let's see some footage from Carolina's two games in Portland and hear from Hubert Davis. 
you know, he, he picked up a couple of offensive fouls early this season and an interception by Love, and he'll take it straight to the rim for the jam. Coast to coast on the Pacific Northwest. Love hammers it home. Trimble has got the ball on the right elbow. Trimble gives off to Black, driving down the lane. Oh, a soft finger roll at the front of the cup. It's good, and Carolina continues to roll. Carolina is not just passing around the outside. They're trying to take up the slack, engage on the defense. Long three by Caleb Love, and it is nothing but the bottom of the net. Brings it across the timeline. Drifts off to the right. Shot fake, goes up, and the Tar Heels back out in front, 20-18. to 18. Wood drives baseline, got caught under the rim, trying to float a pass out to the top of the circle. It's picked off by Love. Baseball pass, down court, R.J. Davis, yes, sir. And that second free throw that missed a rare miss. For the 6'8 wing players, Carolina gets it to Nance. Left corner, three ball, good. 1.20 to play in the half. Love, jab step, three-pointer in the face of Wood. Heels down two with the ball, 48-46. Love, step back, 16-footer. Everything's going for Caleb, shaking his head as he comes back down court. Still 10 on the shot clock as Davis lurches his way inside the paint, kicks outside to Nance. He knew it was in the moment it left his hands. It's not been as good as we think. Nance, another three from the right side. He's keeping Carolina in the game. Here comes Carolina down a point with the ball. Love, crossover, swings it left side. Nance for the lead, Carolina. Carolina clears the glass and has the ball back. Love a three straight away. Yes, sir. Well, we've always said the terrific shooters is a deep three by Leaky Black right in the face, and it makes it. Black outside the arc, puts it on the floor, gives off to Baycott, who finishes with authority. And Carolina leads 79-76. Davis with 10 on the shot clock. Faces up and shoots over Perry. Yes! And this one finally sewn up for Carolina, holding off Portland and winning 89-81. This is the same kind of intensity we saw yesterday from Iowa State. But Davis finds space for a three. And a rebound down to Davis. Such high octane speed for Davis, and it's so under control, too. Just taking advantage, getting out in transition, beating that pressure down the floor. A steal for Love. Up ahead. Bounce find to Davis. How'd he do it? That is electric, the last two possessions for Carolina. It was so good by Baycott, because the scouting report for Robert Jones is that he's going to that right hand, catching away, and now Caleb Love on the other end, getting it going from the perimeter. This is a guy who did shoot 35% from three last season. Early struggles, but they've got to find it. Baycott eventually on the catch. And a flush for Baycott. Love and Davis each with nine for Carolina. And Love with an assist. Baycott with eight. Every rebound is contested in this game. Black has it for Carolina. And Love wraps around and scores. He's just a winner. I mean, that's a winning play. Look what it leads to. It's a four-point possession as Nance connects. Iowa State with Coons spearheading the top of that zone again. Black in the back cut. Coons gave him the left shoulder. Just daring you to that baseline. Now the trap on Baycott. Oh, what but pass. Brill left Black. Terrific find by Baycott. Just thread the needle. You, you have to compliment um, Iowa State is, you know, they have tremendous pressure. So, like, coming into this game, they were number one in the country in terms of forced turnover. So we knew that that type of physicality and pressure would come not just on our guards like RJ and Caleb, but on everyone. And so in those situations, um, they kind of speed you up a little bit, and I felt like they did, and just didn't make sound passes and, and make um, – fundamental plays and that that just really hurt us but again you know if somebody would say you, you know you're up seven with three minutes ago would you take that i i take it <laughs> i'm not gonna believe this girl oh, dad! dad have you seen this i did it Wells Fargo helps thousands of students go to college. He got in. By funding $107 million in scholarships and programming for diverse communities. Don't worry, I'll be back. When a bank does what it says, I knew you could do it. Opportunity happens. Doing gets it done.
Wells Fargo, the bank of doing. I need to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 All Fours. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. I need to try it first. Yeah. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright. So, this Black Friday, choose a vehicle in stock or simply place a custom order. Lock in your rate and you're protected, even if rates go up before your order comes in. Plus, thousands of vehicles are arriving daily, just in time for the holidays. This Black Friday, lock in this low rate on a new 2022 Ford F-150. Hurry, choose from over 7,000 Ford trucks and SUVs, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Welcome back to the show. Let's finish things up as we traditionally do with some Olympic sports. And congratulations to Tar Heel Field Hockey. Head coach Karen Shelton and her program win the 10th NCAA title. That is more than any team in NCAA history. Erin Matson caps her unbelievable career with the game-winning goal against Northwestern with less than 90 seconds to play. Tar Heels win 2-1 by defeating the Wildcats. We'll show you some footage of that, plus Carolina's women's basketball team also up in Portland as part of the women's portion of these Phil Knight events. Just two games up there for the ladies. Their first was a victory over Oregon on Thursday evening. Let's see Carolina field hockey and Carolina women's basketball with some big wins. Corner is now inserted. Deek again! Tipped in. I believe it was Riley Heck who got a stick on it. And the Tar Heels are on the board. Great lead ball there. Peyton Worth trying to get that inside track. Was there an obstruction? No, there wasn't. They played through, and Peyton Worth with the goal has given the Carolina Tar Heels the advantage. That was an exceptional lead up. That's why you use the aerial ball, Leah. She sees the space, she sends it long down into the ball. Peyton Worth able to collect that ball. And the Carolina Tar Heels have completed the undefeated season for the sixth time, culminating to their 10th unprecedented national championship. Somehow, number one, and, and Peyton, number 10, made it happen. So uh, just so proud of those two and, and the rest of the team. I thought it was a great team effort defensively. I talk yes. about defense wins championships, right? <laughs> and we defended them pretty well except for their one corner. Uh, my class, you know, the seniors, we started undefeated national champions, and that's how we're ending it. So it, it means a lot to us. Never gets old. You know, we're, we name every trophy. We, we celebrate just the same. Um, we bring it back to our university with pride. So, yeah, no, this is a really happy day. Run continues. The three drained by Todd Williams. And sometimes you just, you're not ready for that second, that second punch from a team. And that's what Oregon has been doing all season long. Outscoring Carolina by seven in this quarter to take the 10 point lead and pull up wide open. And 
Decided to pass it off this time. Left hand for Kelly. Can they take the momentum into the locker room at half? That will certainly help in the momentum department. Todd Williams with the three. Wide open, Hodgson. Shea out of the game, which will help North Carolina. Couple going behind the back. Todd Williams, Usby. Usby passes it brilliantly. Sends the Oregon lead out to five after they trail by one coming into this quarter, but leave it up to Usby who finishes so well with that left hand to go up by eight. And they switch the defense up yet again out of the timeout. There's a good answer for Carolina Hodgson. Good defense by Todd Williams. Driving in. Shea is gonna check in at the next whistle for Oregon, the 6'8 player. And do it again. Oh, they thought she was going to pull it. She didn't. Instead, gets it over to Adams, who delivers. And what a win for the Tar Heels of North Carolina. The men won across town earlier. And now the women with a come-from-behind win. That's going to do it for us today, but so much coming in this next week. One of the busiest weeks of the year for the Tar Heels. We'll be back next week, of course, ACC championship game, even with these back to back losses to finish the regular season. Carolina going to Charlotte to match up with Clemson in the title game. Plus basketball finishes the event in Portland. They go on the road to see Indiana in the midweek as well. So a big challenge upcoming for the hoops heels as well. We'll cover all that and more next week on the Carolina Insider. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer, proud partner of Carolina Athletics. The 2022 Ford F-150, a tradition of excellence. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer today. Carolina Insider is produced by Go Heels Productions for Tar Heels Sports Properties, a property of Learfield.